so that is it. I am ready for work. I've had my breakfast and off I go. So now that I'm set up, I'm just going through my list for the day. Obviously I can't show you my screen for confidentiality reasons, uh, but it looks like I've got a mixed range of blood pressures, smear tests, a few B12 injections, a denosumab, which I can never say, injection, ECG, and some dressings. So it looks like I'm gonna have a very busy morning. I have one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen booked in just for this morning so yeah but i finished at one today so it's not too bad so now i know what my list is like i know that i've got blood pressure first i'm gonna get the blood pressure stuff ready and then i know i've got a smear test i'm gonna get the couch ready and all my smear tests set up let's go so now i'm gonna get all of my blood pressure things ready for my first patient as well this is the mercury the old mercury style blood pressure machine uh, I have my own stethoscope from my second year of nursing. This is mine. It has my name on it somewhere. Ta-da! I'm just gonna wash everything down before my patient goes. Clinel wipe. Other wipes are available. You put Clinel wipe for each piece of equipment. Just so you know, it's all clean. smear test you need a couple of size different size speculums for your patient pot holder a cervical brush it looks a lot worse than it is guys don't worry so yeah pot make sure the date is in date make sure clear fluid to the line put it in there put your brush in there job done then your sample bag and lastly some information for your patients if they don't know the information you can give them these and lastly sign for the door time to put the mask on Ta -da! let's do this next up we have our b12 little glass bottles are the devil so a little tip for you take your syringe out of the pack use the pack to open your bottle so I have drawn it up and ready to give to my patient. So I overran a little bit this morning, so I missed my, my tea break. However, I did have a gap between patients, so I've grabbed my tea. And yeah, I'm gonna have quick tea and then I'm on to my ECG next. Next up, we have our ECG. I've got the bed ready. ECG machine. 12 lead ECG which is actually only 10 leads but it's called a, te a 12 lead ECG because of the 12 points of the heart or something that it captures something like that um, but yeah this is our machine we just put in our patient ID and things which I'm going to do now before setting it all up and then I'm going to get my patient in here we go this is a sort of semi-urgent referral this person doesn't have chest pain or anything like that but their blood pressure is very very high and they're suffering from headaches and things like that so the first thing we need to do is an ecg make sure they haven't got any cardiac issues and a blood test to make sure that everything in their bloods is good so things like thyroid things like glucose levels things like a full blood count cholesterol all the little things that you can think of kidneys oh, how can i forget kidneys blood pressure yeah <laughs> um all of those little things so they'll have a full full mot and just make sure that there's nothing underlying causing this really high blood pressure and these headaches which is never a good sign but yeah fingers crossed so that is ecg done it was all clear good to know it was all normal so yeah happy with that didn't have to get doctors involved or anything so pretty simple if you notice anything on an ecg you always get the doctor in to check the patient over and make sure that there's nothing acute happening now i have my final patient of the day which is a wound dressing i've had a couple of leg ulcers today to do so yeah i'm gonna get sort of set up for that 
So this is our dressing cupboard. Uh, it's got this measuring guide if you're going to be measuring legs for hosiery. Um, we have this guide, wound types, what to put on it and leg ulcer pathway. And then this is all of our different types of dressings. So today I will need a patient pack which has your gloves, goggles and everything in it. This patient has Idoflex, which is an iodine dressing that's quite a squidgy one so you sort of mold it and then put it into the ulcer and then this person will always have these um, absorbent dressings over the top to sort of absorb any fluid that might be leaking out and i'm also going to be using prontosan which is a really, really good solution if they have a biofilm over the top of the wound. And you'll know it's a biofilm because it'll be like a shiny coating over the wound and you wanna get rid of that and break down the layer so that uh, your patient's wound can heal. And lastly, uh, some of this, which is like a bandaging that's gonna hold everything on. This is, hang on this sort of bandaging and that's just going to hold everything on nicely it's like a tubey grip type of thing and so this is it this is me set up i've got my patient pack which is my sterile field idaflex firstly i'm going to put this on a bit of protosan uh absorbent dressing and then that to hold it all on and bob's your uncle and i do have a small confession to make um i'm actually doing this video after my patient has left <laughs> because i obviously have not got time between patients to do these videos so this uh this time i've done the patient first but this is literally all of the setup that i used for my patient and yeah they are done and they are gone and finally last job of the day final clear up here we go Don't forget your bones. I've got an issue, guys. My ECG machine won't turn off. Off, go. Normally it just turns black when you do that. Nothing. Oops. And that, my lovely friends, is a day in the life of a GP nurse. But for now, au revoir.